Hello, my name is Alex and I will be presenting the systematic evaluation of DNA methylation profiling assays. Advances in omics technologies has fueled investigation into the epigenome as a tool to enhance livestock selection and breeding practices. DNA methylation is an important epigenetic mark that is essential for genomic stability and maintenance throughout development. The aims of this work were to assess the relative accuracy of four DNA methylation profiling assays across seven of the ovine fang tissues, the assays being whole genome by sulphite sequencing, reduced representation by sulphite sequencing, Oxford nanopore technology sequencing, and the mammalian methylation microarray, as well as to discuss the cost benefits of each assay with particular consideration for industry application. A wide array of techniques have been developed to explore DNA methylation from the single gene level through to genome-wide profiling. Among these, bisulfite conversion is the most widely adopted tool. WGBS is the gold standard approach for methylation profiling at present. It is largely unbiased and can provide information at theoretically every cytosine in the genome. Due to the high cost of WGBS, this approach is usually performed on a few specific samples. For applications that demand high sample throughput, RRBS is an appropriate and relatively cost-effective option. RRBS uses restriction enzymes to reduce genome complexity before sequencing. MSP1 is commonly used as a direct sequencing towards CPG islands. The disadvantages of these assays tend to relate to the bisulfite treatment itself, which induces DNA degradation that is subsequently augmented through PCR. The cost associated with bisulfite conversion in NGS is also high. The third assay under evaluation is the recently released mammalian methylation array, which was developed in 2015, making this technology more accessible to non-model species. The chip contains 37,000 CPG sites that were chosen for high sequence similarity across the mammalian class. The pros of this assay are its simple analysis workflow and high accuracy. However, it is biased towards conserved CPG sites and is costly on a per base scale. The fourth assay for comparison was nanopore sequencing, which directly detects bases of native DNA. The main pros are the ease of library prep and no requirement for bisulfite treatment of DNA. However, the high error rate of ONT sequencing is amplified for base modification calls. This technology also remains cost prohibitive for large scale studies. In the interest of time, I will not go through the bioinformatic workflows that are used to analyse the data from each assay, but please refer to my poster for more detail. Briefly, DNA from seven ovine fang tissues were run across the four assays. The methylation array captured 25.5 thousand CPG sites. Nanopore yielded 34.3 million CPG sites at a relatively low coverage of 3.6 times. WGBS generated 32.2 million CPGs at a high depth of 19 times and RRBS obtained 4.4 million CPGs at 11.6 times coverage. I was first interested in the functional categories that each assay proportionately captured. As expected, WGBS and ONT showed a true reflection of the genome-wide distribution of CPG sites while RRBS and the array-based platform were biased towards genomic regions. In the top Venn diagram, there is an overview of the number of CPG sites captured by each assay, with 4,627 sites common across all four assays. I then compared the methylation calls between shared sites of each assay to determine their correlation and infer their relative accuracy using WGBS as the gold standard approach. As you can see, the high error rate of ONT sequencing and the relatively low depth I obtained for this data set is reflected in the lowest correlation of 0.74 with WGBS data. However, this is still reasonable, 
and it shows potential for the use of nanopore sequencing to profile methylation. The array had the highest correlation with WGBS, even though these two assays are based on different chemistries, which highlights the accuracy of chip-based epityping. In summary, there is no perfect methodology for methylation profiling, and the cost benefits need to be weighed up depending on the project. RRBS remains a popular approach to generate highly accurate genome-wide methylation profiles at a fraction of the cost of WGBS. RRBS is also amenable to high-throughput multiplexing, which is advantageous for large-scale livestock studies. I would like to thank all the funding bodies associated with this work. Thanks for listening and I'm happy to take questions.